Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Saints lose on Sunday to the Minnesota Vikings, 27-19. Uh, it was a game in which uh, Derek Carr was knocked out early in the second half. Concussion, actually a couple of LSU uh, Tigers did the honors. It was Jaquil and Roy going low and Daniil Hunter going high on Derek Carr. He was concussed, had a shoulder injury. Uh, Jameis Winston came into the game for the New Orleans Saints, and he threw a couple of touchdown passes. He certainly let a spark offensively. Uh, Winston finished the game 13 of 25 for 122 yards and two scores, but of course had the two interceptions as well. Carr, who threw for just 63 yards in the first half, uh, finished the day um, 13 of 18 for 110 yards, was sacked twice, of course, did not lead a scoring drive, a, a, a touchdown drive, I should say. Only the, the lone scoring drive was the field goal possession in the first half. Um, Dennis Allen, after the game, was asked, if there is any consideration to making a quarterback change, and he pretty much shot that down. Well, we'll see where Derek's at. I mean, I, I, we're not in a in a competition there. I thought Jameis did some some good things, but you know, Derek Carr's our starting quarterback. So Derek Carr's the guy. If there's any thought that there might be a quarterback change coming off the bye to Jameis, that's not going to happen. And it makes sense. I mean, you've invested, as we've talked about, a hundred and fifty million dollars into Derek Carr. You have decided you're going to make him the cornerstone of your franchise and you're going to build around him. We've talked about all the players that they have added to this roster who were teammates of Derek Carr's with the Raiders that, that were his uh, choices to bring in and join this roster. They're doing everything they could possibly do to, to support and nurture Derek Carr to grow around him and build around him because they made such a massive financial investment in him. So, no, you're not going to punt on Derek Carr 10 games into the season. So I understand that. I may not like it. You all know my feeling on it. My feeling on it is that Derek Carr is a very average quarterback that is, has always just been a very average quarterback. They're not going to move on from him, however. Um, Dennis Allen on Monday had his press conference and did give an update on the 300 players, on Derek Carr, on Mike Thomas, and on Marshawn Lattimore. Derek is in the concussion protocol. The right shoulder's fine. Uh, that that checked out fine today, so that's all good. You know, both uh, Mike Thomas and, and uh, Marshawn Lattimore both had, you know, fairly significant injuries. Um, I'm not going to get into the exact uh, extent, but uh, you know, they'll they'll both be be rehabbing throughout the throughout the week here. Okay, so Saints by comes uh, at, at a pretty good time. Uh, they're a relatively healthy football team, but now with Derek Carr's injury, it gives him an extra week to get ready before the Saints play the Falcons. Um, and I do sincerely hope that Derek Carr is is okay. I mean, concussions are obviously very serious. I'm not trying to downplay that at all. I, I hope on a very human level, Derek Carr is okay. Um, as a quarterback, however, 63 yards in the first half is an abomination. In 2023, for an NFL quarterback who's making the type of money that Derek Carr is with the type of experience he has, to throw over 63 yards and a half is an utter disgrace. Um, and when the game went to half on Sunday, I tweeted uh, a, a new nickname for Derek Carr, and it took. So um, – I think what we're going to do is that is that right now there is going to be a, a coronation. Actually, guys, let's let's all stand. Let's let's stand here for the coronation. Uh, here, Muse, if you would take it away. Hey, stand at attention. You, show some freaking respect, Muso. Whereas it pleases the almighty Allen to call to his bench our former and beloved starter, Jameis Winston, the first to throw for 5,000 yards with the absence of any discernible impact, the crown of empty calorie ineptitude and stat padded prowess is heretofore bestowed solely and rightfully upon Derek Dallas Carr, first of his name, leader of the Mascara Men, who from this moment on bears the title of the Empty Yard Emperor. Hurrah! Hey! Ha, 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 ha.
Molly, you turn that around quickly. I love it. The em uh, he shall heretofore be known as the, em uh, the Empty Yards Emperor. Uh, that is Derek Carr. Uh, in his career... Derek Carr, who uh, we all talk about how many yards he's thrown for in his in his NFL career, right? That's been a pretty common narrative that Derek Carr over the past nine years has been a guy that's been one of the guys who uh, who who is um, one of the leading passers among active quarterbacks in the NFL. You know, for his career, Derek Carr has thrown for thirty seven thousand four hundred and fifty three yards across one hundred and fifty two games played in his career. However, Derek Carr has finished, excuse me, the emperor of empty yards. I got, we got to make sure we have that. And I need horns too now, Muse, moving forward. Um, do you know how many seasons, Derek, excuse me, do you know how many seasons the emperor of empty yards has finished in the top 10 in NFL in passing yards? Muse, do you know? Uh, I don't, but Pauly, I... Paulie, do you know? I do not. Okay, guess. Uh, out of 10 seasons, I'll go with three. This is his 10th season. Okay, so out of so nine, nine years, previous. I'll go with three. Three times the Emperor of Empty Yards, top 10 in the NFL and passing. Yeah. Pauly. I'll go two. Pauly is correct. Only two times. Only two times in his nine previous seasons has the Emperor of Empty Yards finished in the top 10 in passing yardage. His rookie season, 19th. Here we go success uh, in succession. 19th, 13th, 14th, 14th, 12th, 8th, 11th, 5th, 14th, and then now this season. The Emperor of Empty Yards is, has always been nothing more than a mediocre at best quarterback, and you decided to make the Emperor of Empty Yards your cornerstone, and for that, you got to watch an abomination of that offense throwing for 63 yards and a half against the Minnesota Vikings. Only twice in his career, twice in nine years, has he finished in the top 10 in the NFL in passing yards. By the way, also... Uh, do you know Derek Carr's playoff prowess? Have you ever looked this up? Uh, no. Do you know how many times Derek Carr has made the playoffs? Once, I would say. Polly, do you know how many I, times? I do not know. Do you want to guess? I'll go three. Derek Carr has played in a grand total of one playoff game. One playoff game in 2021, two years ago, when they lost in the wild card round to the Cincinnati Bengals. That's the only playoff game Derek Carr has ever played in in his career. I'm going to remind you again, the emperor of empty yards is a mediocre at best quarterback. That's what he has always been. You can lay it all at the feet of being in a bad organization, but you know what great quarterbacks do? They elevate bad organizations. What did Joe Burrow do to the Cincinnati Bengals? Quickly, what has Josh Allen done with the Buffalo Bills? Good, elite quarterbacks elevate bad organizations. Drew Brees with the New Orleans Saints, a perpetually awful organization. Drew Brees came in here and won a Super Bowl. In year one, went to an NFC Championship game. That's what elite quarterbacks do. Do you know what the Emperor of Empty Yards does? He spends nine years with the Raiders, twice finishes in the top ten in passing, plays in one playoff game, and the Saints foolishly give the Emperor of Empty Yards $150 million. They have affixed their wagon to him over the next three years, and for that, we're all going to watch very bad football. Can I have the horns again? Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.